Let's discuss acids and bases and how to write net ionic equations when we have weak acids, um, strong acids, and weak bases and strong bases. When you look at a strong acid, you note that it is represented as being 100% ionized. With the HCl, we have the H plus ions, the Cl negative ions, and they are 100% ionized. That's the definition of a strong acid, which we will write as SA. If you look at acetic acid, which is considered to be a weak acid, you see that most of the acetic acid still exists as molecules, again, undissociated. You have far less than 1% dissociation in a weak acid. You do have some H plus and some acetate ion. That's the definition of an acid, that it produces H plus ions, but very small numbers, again, less than 1% ionized. You do need to be very familiar with your strong acids, and you will need to memorize them, HCl, HBr, HI, um, sulfuric, nitric, and per chloric are all strong acids and should be written in ion form as if they dissociated 100%, which is what they do. Your bases, your strong bases, are also dissociated 100%. Sodium hydroxide, NaOH, is a strong base and would be represented in an aqueous solution as 100% dissociation of Na plus and OH negative ions, just as the acid, 100% dissociated. Your common strong bases are your alkali metal hydroxides, lithium hydroxide, sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide. Most of your alkaline earth metal hydroxides Again, dissociate 100%, but not magnesium hydroxide. Magnesium hydroxide is not soluble, therefore it does not dissociate. The same goes for your transition metal hydroxides, um, such as copper 2 hydroxide, would not be written in ion form because it does not dissociate. It is not soluble. Your weak base, ammonia, at this point, ammonia is the only weak base you really need to concern yourself with. If you look at the chemistry, the ammonia reacts with water to produce the ammonium ion and the hydroxide ion. But the equilibrium of this reaction lies to the left. There's far less than 1% dissociation. So when writing ammonia, you write it this way, not in its ion form. Looking at the picture of ammonium hydroxide, you can see most of the ammonia molecules are in the undissociated molecular form. So make sure that you're really clear on your strong acids and your strong bases. Again, your strong acids, once you memorize those, you don't need to memorize your weak acids. They're the ones that aren't strong. Your common strong bases are your group one, and then your common weak base is the ammonia molecule. When you look at the chemistry, between acids and bases, the dissociated H plus and OH negative ions combine to form water, leaving you with the spectator ions from the strong acid and the strong base. Strong acid, strong base will always make a soluble salt and water molecules. Your weak acid will not give such a simple reaction as the strong acid, strong base. Notice with the strong acid, strong base, your spectator ions leave, leaving you with the H plus, OH negative, and water. So anytime you have a strong acid, strong base reaction, this is your net ionic equation. When you have a weak acid, such as the acetic acid, which would not be written, in molecular form. The H plus is still removed by the hydroxide ion. Again, the hydroxide ion is such a strong base, it will remove this hydrogen ion, leaving you with the acetate and potassium ions. But again, your net ionic equation is going to look slightly different. You will not have ionized the acetic acid as a reactant, so it will not cancel with the acetate ion. So you would have the weak acid, the soluble hydroxide ion, the anion, and the water. And again, this is going to be your format for weak acid, strong base, net ionic equations. 
Just remember that even though the weak acid will not willingly give up that proton, the hydroxide ion will remove it, forming water and the negative ion. So let's use these rules and practice some net ionic equations. First, you want to classify your acid in your base. You've got nitric acid, which would be a strong acid, so you would ionize the acid. You would ionize the sodium hydroxide because it is a strong base. So these are your reactants written correctly. Your products are salt and water, the salt this time being your sodium nitrate, which would be a soluble salt. So write your sodium and your nitrate ion. And then, of course, your water written in molecular form. Your spectator ions would be the nitrate ion and the sodium ion. And just as we stated before, for your strong acid, strong base, your net ionic equation would be H plus plus OH negative, giving you water. If you look at sulfuric acid, you should get exactly the same reaction. We're going to go ahead, since we know sulfuric acid is a strong acid and calcium hydroxide is a soluble strong base, we know the reaction needs to end up with the net ionic equation being H plus plus OH negative giving you water. You should pause your uh, video at this point and write the complete ionic equation, cancel your spectator ions and prove to yourself that you do come up with this net ionic equation. Your next reaction, hydrochloric acid reacting with magnesium hydroxide, the only difference here, your strong acid would be ionized. Your strong base, which magnesium hydroxide is, but it is not a soluble base, so you would keep it written non-ionized. You then have your product, which would be magnesium chloride, which is a soluble chloride, and your water. So now when you cancel put that charge on that chloride ion, when you cancel your spectator ions, you're left with the hydrogen ion, which would be the hydrogen from the ionized strong acid, your magnesium hydroxide, which is not soluble, and then your magnesium ion and water. So this one looks a little different. You need to check for the solubility of some of those strong bases to make sure that you write them correctly. Here we have acetic acid, which would be a weak acid. So we would write the formula, non-ionized, C2, H3O2. We would ionize the potassium hydroxide, which is a soluble strong base. Your product is going to be potassium acetate, which would be a soluble compound based on your solubility rules, and then, of course, water. The difference is that your Acetic acid will not cancel with your acetate ion. Your only spectator ion is the potassium ion, and that would cancel, leaving you on the left with the weak acid and the ionized hydroxide ion. On the right, the acetate ion, water. Let's look at a few more and practice these. Once you get through most of these, um, you'll feel very comfortable just skipping to the end and making sure that you recognize weak acids and strong acids. Hydrofluoric acid is a weak acid, so it would not be ionized. Sodium hydroxide is a strong base and would be. Let's go ahead and leave off the sodium ion because by now we know it's a spectator ion anyway. On the right, your salt would have been sodium fluoride, which would be soluble. The sodium ion would have canceled, leaving us with the fluoride ion and then making water. And again, notice the format, weak acid, soluble hydroxide, your negative ion, and water. Hydrochloric acid, be ionized. Now you've got the weak base, ammonia, which you would simply no ionizing. Your products are going to be salt and water. You've got to stop and think about this a little bit. Your salt is going to be ammonium chloride, which would be a soluble salt, and molecular water. 
looking at what would cancel your only spectator ion is the chloride ion and that would leave you with this net ionic equation which is always what you're going to get when you have ammonia acting as a weak base. You'll always form the ammonium ion. Now you've got both a weak acid and a weak base so write your acetic acid um, HC2H3O2 non-ionized. Your ammonia would also not be ionized. Your product would be ammonium acetate and no spectator it's a four right there. No spectator ions would cancel so when you have a weak acid weak base this would be your typical format. So as you review back over these, just note when you have a strong acid and a strong base, the reaction is pretty straightforward, OH negative and H plus. When you have a weak acid and a strong base, you will still have the weak acid written in its molecular form. When you have a strong acid and the weak base ammonia, your weak base will be written in its molecular form. So just pay attention to what and you will end up being able to get all of these net ionic equations completely correct.